Ladies and gentlemen, Admiral Griggs, Chief of Navy of the Royal Australian Navy, as the incoming chair. Good morning. Our fellow Chiefs of Navy uh, from around the Indian Ocean, uh, colleagues from around the world, other distinguished guests, particularly our speakers, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honour to welcome you uh, to Australia and to Perth for the 2014 Indian Ocean Naval Symposium. I would like to acknowledge the, Wood the Wadjuk Noongar people, the tra traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting, and acknowledge and respect their continuing culture and the contribution they make to the life of this city and of this region. The Royal Australian Navy has operated across the expanse of the Indian Ocean, from the Persian Gulf to the deep Southern Ocean since its foundation. And this ocean, of course, played an important part in the earliest European discovery of our great Southern land. We have strongly supported IONS since its inception, and as such, it is a particular honour for Australia to host this event, and it's a particular honour to take over the chairmanship of IONS. I would like to pay tribute to the South African Navy and to Osemra Medema for the stewardship of IONS over the last two years. As our most recent chairman, he has played an important part in ensuring that we are able to establish what I believe will be one of the most significant pieces of maritime security architecture in our region. Miramo Pele, thank you for being here uh, representing Vice Admiral Maduma. I know he is busy uh, handing over the reins to uh, Admiral Shlongwane, and all of us here understand the demands of that process. As the incoming chairman, I would be grateful if you would pass on my deep and most sincere thanks on behalf of all of the members and observers of IONS to your Navy and its leaders for their stewardship over the last two years. On behalf of those here, I would like to express our best wishes uh, to Vice Admiral Medema for whatever lies ahead in life after being the Chief and also our best wishes to Emil Shlongwane for what lies ahead for him. We have already heard from Rear Admiral Pele on the achievements of the last two years. I think the combined efforts of the three previous chairs, India, the UAE and South Africa, have got us to a crucial point in the evolution of IONS. If there was ever an incident which shows us the mariners of the Indian Ocean of the need for this symposium and of the need to work collaboratively, I think it's the search for the tragic loss of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. I offer my condolences to the families of those passengers and crew who have been lost. It clearly remains a deeply troubling and sad time for them. The scale and the breadth of the search operation I think has been unprecedented. With search activities in the South China Sea, in the Gulf of Thailand, throughout the Indian Ocean, from the Bay of Bengal to the current area of focus, some 1,500 nautical miles southwest of us here in Perth. If there are any significant developments uh, in the search during this conference, uh, we will ensure that we bring that information to you. This combined search effort has shown the importance of collaboration and cooperation. It has underscored the importance of developing habits of cooperation, those habits of cooperation that uh, Minister Cash talked of this morning. If we have the habit, then the mechanics of the cooperation become easier. Whether it be for this or for major international responses to natural disasters as we, as we saw in the Philippines last year. At the core of these types of international responses are relationships. Relationships at the political level 
and for us, relationships between our military forces. Events such as IONS are crucial for the development of these relationships. And I hope we can further develop relationships between navies and each other over the coming days so that we can continue the important work that we do. At the heart of the important work that we do at sea is to protect our collective ability to trade. When you boil down most of our maritime security threats, it is their potential to disrupt our trade and consequently our societies that stands out. The scale of the collective international response to piracy of Somalia is, at the end of the day, because of the fundamental importance of the trade route from the Babel Mandab to Malacca, the so-called Iron Highway. In thinking about what we are trying to achieve with IONS and what theme to give this symposium, I was searching for something that was going to be of equal importance to all member states and all observers, those of us who have a significant interest in this region. Hence the theme, protecting the ability to trade in the Indian Ocean maritime economy. I've been very pleased with the response that we've had to this theme and I am very pleased with the quality of the speakers that we have been able to assemble for the next two days. As Senator Cash mentioned earlier, without good order at sea, we cannot have a safe and efficiently functioning global maritime trading system. I suspect the importance of good order at sea and our collective role in maintaining it will be a recurring theme in the next two days. On Friday, we will have the Conclave of Chiefs. For the Member States, the Conclave is an important activity as it sets out the work of IONS over the next two years. As I mentioned, I think we are now at a crucial point. Following much hard work over the last eight years, I'm determined to ensure that Australia lives up to the responsibility of becoming the chair for the next two years. And at the Conclave, I have two aims that I thought I would share now so um, people can think about those over the next two days. The first is to gain agreement to the Charter of Business, and you've already heard uh, Admiral Pillay's comments on that. I would endorse those comments wholeheartedly. This is something that is critical so for us to achieve so that we can move forward and further develop the structure of IONS. I think that the very good work that has been done in the last two years in relation to the Charter will enable us to achieve this very important milestone. An important byproduct of resolving the outstanding issues in the Charter of Business will be the ability to involve observer countries more actively in the process. I think this is something that is very important for us, noting the valuable contribution that observers make in institutions like the Western Pacific Naval Symposium. The second aim is for us to accelerate the maturation process of IONS by using as much as we can from like institutions such as the Western Pacific Naval Symposium and the ASEAN Defence Ministers Meeting Plus Export Working Group construct. And we will hear from uh, Madame Suryani from Malaysia on the ADMM Plus Expert Working Group concept during the conference. One way we are proposing to accelerate that maturation process is that we consider the introduction of a system of IONS working groups. This is something um, some may have been able to see in operation in the context of ADMM Plus, where in just two short years, a series of working groups have conducted a series of tabletop and field exercises which are of mutual benefit 
and great significance. The working group concept is based on the premise that all IONS members, whether their nations are represented by navies, coast guards or marine police forces, have skills, strengths and knowledge which can be contributed. And that through participation, all nations will benefit from the activities of those working groups. And you will see from the papers uh, that we have presented, we're suggesting working groups to cover humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, counter piracy, information sharing and interoperability, and counter smuggling and the environment. I'm a firm believer in the great understanding which exists between mariners who have seen the sea, experienced its vast distances and its enormous power. We as mariners know better than most that it is beyond the ability of any one nation to control the maritime environment. Yet we also know how important it is that we maintain security at sea. Institutions such as IONS are made up of many, many relationships. They develop over time and each one takes an act of conscious will at both the national and the personal level. And what we undertake over the next few days will add to the stock of goodwill which exists between us as mariners of the Indian Ocean. Now one final aspect that I would like to mention at this stage is the IONS essay competition. Uh, after I conclude my speech, uh, I'll ask Admiral Pillay to come up and announce the winners of the last competition. And then the director of the Sea Power Centre, Captain Justin Jones, will brief you on the details of the competition that we will administer in 2014. Some people think that in the modern context, an essay comp competition is um, anachronistic. I strongly believe that these essay competitions serve two very important purposes. They encourage those who enter to learn more about their profession and the environment in which they operate and on which we depend so much. More importantly, they are a vehicle for a much wider number of people to learn more about the nations and the interests of others in and around our region. This educative process is an important part of creating the environment which supports our future security and prosperity by encouraging mutual understanding. It is, in a way, a means of continuing the relationship building which we undertake here. I seek your support to publicise and encourage members of your service to enter the competition. It would be a great achievement for IONS if there were to be an entry from every single member nation. We've always got to have a stretch target. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here in Perth and I look forward to a very fruitful few days and a productive couple of years ahead as we take IONS forward together. Thank you.